Hey, it's Joyce Rockwood of JoyceRockwood.com, and I'm making you this audio today because I was sitting here and thinking about you, and I was like, you know, the holidays are here, there's so many temptations around, and if you have very specific goals for your health, this time of year can make it feel really challenging, and I want to make sure you have some of my own personal insights and tips so that you can move through these holidays and soar in your sexy and sassy body. Or if you're a dude listening to me right now, of course, it's all about feeling cut and confident. But here's the thing. It's not about what you can't eat. I want you to think about your health from a totally new perspective of what can I bring in that is going to allow me to feel beautiful, handsome, sexy, sassy, cut, confident, full of energy, full of life, wake up feeling radiant instead of wake up feeling, you know, waking up feeling gassy and bloated and anxious and upset and lethargic. It's not worth it, right? So here's the thing. When I was first going through detox, I had all of these emotions always attached to different foods and I would utilize the foods to reconnect with feeling good or elevated or happy or celebrating some kind of a success. But as I allowed my body to go through the process of detoxification and really wrap myself in and around all of the benefits and the joys and the entire process in itself, which, yeah, there were some ups and there were some downs, of course, once I allowed myself the opportunity to really dive in to what the process represented and the results that were always waiting for me on the other side, my emotional connection to the foods that once really just never served me that I always wanted to eat, my connection started to loosen. My connection to those foods started to weaken. And I started to have much healthier foods being the things that I was connected to that brought me joy. So it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. But here's the thing. Once you acknowledge that, you can allow yourself the opportunity to bring in healthier foods on the daily and see what the benefits are from doing that. And notice that the preconceived notions you have around getting gratification from the foods that you know aren't really serving you, how that starts to loosen, how that is something you can start to let go of and create new associations with the healthy food because healthy equals happy. So here's a pragmatic tip for you, okay? As you're moving through the holidays, allow yourself some space to eat the things that you know that you want to eat that might not serve you. See how you feel. Allow yourself that as an experiment. Notice that maybe the next day, if you ate some foods that you know just don't feel good in your body the next day, notice that maybe the emotional gratification you are seeking from that food is really no gratification at all. And what would happen if you allowed yourself the opportunity to have a meal that was healthier and served you deeper with more longevity and greater health benefits the next morning especially and throughout the entire next day so that you had the impetus and the catalyst to continue eating healthy because you continue to get massive benefits from placing a little bit of effort into that. So I hope you understand that this is a process, that it doesn't happen overnight. And of course, one more pragmatic tip (laughs) is the big salad, right? So what if you committed to always having a big salad or at least some raw water-containing veggies like cucumbers, celery stalks, red, orange, yellow peppers before, and of course romaine lettuce, (laughs) before you ate anything cooked? What if you committed to just that so that if you did decide to indulge in a meal that you know just the next day, not going to leave you feeling great, at least you elevated it a few notches with that raw food or that big salad first. I invite you in to reconsider the emotional connection that you think you have to the foods that are not really deep down inside serving you and allow yourself the opportunity to create a new association, a new emotional connection that is super gratifying and super beneficial for the long haul. 
I hope this audio has given you some pearls and some gems. And if you have any questions, you know you can always reach me at detox at joycerockwood.com. And I would absolutely love to hear from you. Thanks for listening and happy holidays.